Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Ephesians chapter 5. Welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk on Friday the 28th of August 2020. Let us come before God, let us pray. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at your feet its treasure store. Take myself and I will be all for you eternally. Amen. Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus is the theme for our devotions this week. Let's listen to part of chapter 5, which is our focus for today. It begins, be imitators of God. Then at verse 3, but fornication and impurity of any kind or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly and vulgar talk, but instead let there be thanksgiving. And at verse 15. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God, the Father at all times and for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians overall is an encouraging letter. In this chapter, Paul asks us to renounce poor practices and embrace good thinking and behaviours. He underlines that we should use our time thoughtfully and well. He points out that there are lots of temptations to rush or procrastinate, to drink or be greedy, to be thankful or not. He says... Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time. He uses strong words to drive home his points in this chapter. I want us to take a moment to recall how we choose to spend our minutes. Is how we choose to spend our days, which becomes how we spend our lives. Paul is urging us to be purposeful and wise whatever our age or stage. How might you choose to steward your time more purposefully for God over the next month? Let us approach God with confidence. Let us pray together. Lord, as we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we never do so alone, but with all your people in heaven and on earth. As we give thanks for the diversity of humanity, shape us into a united, caring community, strengthening each other through each challenge until openness and fairness are manifest for all. We pray for those who walk the corridors of power in the parliaments of this and other lands. We pray for all schools and teachers in the United Kingdom and locally in Cramond Parish. When issues arise, may any intervention be caring, timely and effective. We pray for your healing presence for all who are worried during these days of restrictions. All our prayers we now present in the strong name of Jesus Christ, as we pray together, saying, Our Father, 
which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We close with the blessing. From where we are to where you need us, Jesus, now lead on. Lead us through the wisdom of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.